What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today is a very, very exciting day for both Nick and I. We've been waiting for this day for a very long time. We are currently at Dave's Wildlife LTD Taxidermy. And you know what that means. We are going to be picking up a big old fish today. Like I said, Nick and I have been waiting a long time. Over a year ago, we came here and we picked up some fish. Uh, Nick actually caught a beautiful 16 and a quarter inch crappie. I also caught some fish that we got mounted. We'll actually show you guys some of those photos right now so you can take a look and see what kind of work this gentleman does. It is absolutely amazing as you guys can tell. And today we are here again to pick up another fish from him. We actually had a one week return. We came in, picked up our fish and on Memorial Day weekend, I hooked into a 44 inch Northern Pike and we are here today to pick it up. So let's go ahead, check it out, see what he's got in store for us. Oh, man. beautiful as always. <laughs> well, should we give him the old ring? Uh oh, there he is. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. Great. How are you? Very good, Nick. Good to see you. Good to see you. Well, having a beautiful time of the year. Yeah. The long await is over, Brent. Yes. We've got that trophy ready for you. Come on in back. We've got it. Okay. <laughs> See if it brings back some memories. Holy for you. crap. <laughs> wow. What a heck of a catch. Yeah, it definitely does. Holy cow. Look at the freaking girth on this thing. Oh my gosh. That, that is thing is a giant. Whew. Heck of a northern. Nice <laughs> don't get that old too often. Most of them, no. uh, like I say, pretty well scarred over if they do. It's yeah, so that one was definitely probably one of the. Well, king of the pond, I would say. <laughs> I would say. Definitely long. Lake. Yeah, it was only like a 20 or 30 acre lake it was caught out of. Was that so. a Wisconsin? Yeah. Catch? Yep. Fantastic. Yep. Most of the wow. northern that size we see come out of Canada. And, yeah. And again, that big in Wisconsin. Ooh. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> and I caught out of a kayak, so. <laughs> Unreal. It must have took you around a few times in the lake. A couple times. Yeah, we got it on video. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, here she be. Absolute tank of a fish. I mean, you can tell. Saw her on the wall, is, but yeah. <laughs> it really comes to life when you set it down and it's like right here in front of you. But he does a beautiful job. These are some of the other mounts that he does. All different species of fish. We got walleye and huge perch, some bass. Look at the size of that small mouth. Like that is, that's a freaking dandy. Like we said, we've uh, we've had some fish done here before, and we are going to continue to come back after seeing how this pike turned out. We are, uh, well, I'm, I'm pretty damn happy right now. So uh, we're going to go ahead, get everything taken care of here, and we'll see you guys in just a little bit. That was pretty exciting, guys. Not only have I been waiting for that fish for a very long time, but uh, I know Nick has been waiting for a long time to see it too. Uh, when we catch a fish like that, honestly, it doesn't matter which one of us catch it, just to be a part of it is amazing. So uh, it's always a joy getting out there, hitting the water. And uh, again, thanks Nick for landing that fish. It's been a year since we've seen it, but it was pretty freaking awesome. So huge shout out over to Dave at Dave's Wildlife Taxidermy. The guy is great, treats us very well. And now we are way up north. We are actually up in Eagle River, Wisconsin. We're gonna be doing some fishing way up north today. We've got the trusty old boat with us. And we're going to be having some fun. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. We are currently at R&M Muskie Shop. It's a bait shop up here in northern Wisconsin, right in Eagle River, right off of Highway 70. And we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Nick and I are actually going to be having a fish off. We're going to be out of the same boat, but we are going to be doing a little artificial versus live bait challenge. So we're going to head inside and see what we can find for live bait. All righty. Well, check out the cooler. Dozen, dozen night crawlers and a dozen of jumbo leeches. Ooh, the dirty leeches. All right, so we've got some live bait here. Make sure the cooler's closed up. Now, let's go see what we got for plastics. All right, we've got a pretty good selection here. Ooh, the trusty old green pumpkin yum dingers. This might not be a bad option. They got multiple colors, multiple different brands, but I think we're gonna grab a couple packs of these and that's going to be our bait of choice. Live bait versus plastics. We're just gonna see which works better today. Okay, well, we secured the bag. We've got got the goods. We're gonna be getting on the road here. Got about, I don't know, 15 minute drive. Not too far, honestly. It's right in Eagle River, the lake we're gonna be fishing. So we're gonna be getting going and 
we're gonna talk to you guys when we get to the landing okay guys so made it to the landing of the lake it is looking gorgeous out there isn't it Brandon sure is we got a little wind but we're gonna try and get out of the wind and uh, we're gonna see if we can find some fish in the shallows we're gonna be checking out some rock bars and stuff like that we're gonna find the fish today and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the Garmin and everything set up once we get out there so Nick's gonna go ahead and uh, back me in and it won't be long hopefully we're gonna get on top of some fish so before we get out there real quick just rundown of what we're doing in today's video now we are launching our boat and once we get out there one of us is going to be using artificial so that could be sankos or craws or anything like that and we're not really specifically going for any species now we would like to target smallmouth bass but if you know we're catching smallmouth or walleye or musky or northern or anything else that swims in this lake that'll be fine for the challenge and the other person is going to be using live bait we got worms and we got leeches so that's going to be what the other person is going to be using and we're going to just see who can catch the biggest fish of all species it doesn't matter so now if brandon catches say a 17 inch bass and then i upgrade it with a 22 inch northern and then he upgrades it with a 26 inch walleye he's going to win the challenge depending on whatever is we're using because in a lake like this that has every species you don't know what you're going to be able to get so we're just going to say who can catch the biggest if brandon catches a 50 inch musky well then i'll just jump in how about that but <laughs> that's what we're doing today we're going to finish getting ready launch the boat and when we get out there we're going to draw and see uh who gets to be using what i'd actually i personally don't care what we're going to be using i would be fine with live bait or artificial so you have any preference I feel like you got a lot more options if you got artificial, but at the same time, the fish in this lake, super crystal clear water. Man, leeches sound really good today, I'm not gonna lie. Well, we will see, we will get out there and we will talk to you more when we get out on the water. Well guys, got a little anxious. Literally like first couple casts, decided to get out here and start the challenge. Uh, I was throwing plastics, I guess, right away. We didn't really decide who was even doing what yet, but I was like, flipping some of these docks just because I was so anxious when we first got out here. The old Ned rig, a little smally. Decent way to start the day. I mean, it's not a mega giant or anything, but I'll take it. Still have to figure out who's going to be doing what. Hopefully I get artificial because, I mean, that was within a couple casts and that one smoked the Ned rig. So if I can somehow cop the old uh, plastics, I like my chances here in this challenge we are going to need a little bigger than that though because with brandon throwing live bait i mean there is the opportunity of anything in here and there's a lot of really quality sized fish so i guess we're going to figure out who the heck is doing what and we're going to get to fishing so stay tuned guys so what we're really looking for today is pretty much well we're going to be looking for rock any sort of structure for sure rock though for a smallmouth i do have an advantage being in the front of the boat over brandon and this water is extremely clear i don't have the garment on right now because we're just fishing the shallows but it's pretty much about five six feet here and you can't see it probably on the gopro but most of this is just a lot of like chunk rock maybe i don't know this big around or something like that not huge boulders but we're going to be starting with that fishing the shorelines or whatever and seeing if we can pick off some of these fish oh that's a hit oh my god came off did it break my line it almost felt like it broke my line honestly <sighs> it hit pretty aggressive and could have been a ski I don't know, it could have been, it sliced it freaking clean. So, yeah, I don't know, could have been anything. God, the flies are so bad right now. Well, that's pretty cheeks. Could have been a giant smallmouth too, I guess, but. Jeez. All right, well, I'm gonna get another Ned rig on and see if I can catch some more. Tell you what, I'm very glad that we built this freaking boat. This is so nice. Oh, it's so much better. Like the kayak comes in handy. The kayaks are nice because we can go like just about anywhere. That's a tap, that's a tap. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, it feels pretty good actually. Like yeah, yeah. Grab there? the camera. Grab the camera. Hold on. It's a nice fish. Oh my god. It's working me right now. Go up to the front of the boat. Oh god. Do we have the net? Oh god. Three plus all day. 
Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Oh, God. Oh, that makes me Perhaps good. better than mine. I mean, oh, mine wasn't God. anything special. Woo! For sure. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Alrighty. We just got a measurement on it. 20 inch smallmouth. Not an absolute Goliath fish, but holy cow. That is one Medium quality fish. Up, Medium right. light spinning reel. And just throwing a small little quarter ounce jig with a leech. Yeah, let me see this thing. Yeah. Show, it, show everybody what you're using here. <laughs> Look at this thing. Just a gold Northland tackle eyeball jig with a freaking Leeches leech. Just get it done. Live bait, baby. I'm not even Let's that go. upset that you took the lead. Because <laughs> one, I'm going to catch bigger. Oh, okay. This night's still young, but okay. that, no, that's a nice fish. I'll respect you on that. that. That's a freaking gorgeous fish. Wow, there was someone on the other side of the lake that is just screaming right now. They saw you catch it with binoculars, maybe. <laughs> they like, are hey, very, very excited. Oh my goodness. I'm also pretty excited, I must say. That is a damn fish. Here, yeah, that's you the crazy You caught your PB thing. out of here, actually. Yep, 21 and a half or 21 and three quarters, whatever that was. Wasn't quite 22. Gosh, look at that fish. Just like right that. Into the boat. Right into the boat. She's going right back to those rocks that we were fishing. We're fishing just a little bit off of a pier. These guys got a nice sized dock and rather than skipping underneath it, there's a ton of rocks that actually go out just a little bit deeper. You know, we've been fishing the shoreline for a little bit here and there's rocks that go out to about five, six feet. But if you can find the rocks that are getting out into that seven, eight, maybe even 10 feet deep, that's where these fish are graduating to. And that's where we just absolutely smoked that one on the leech. So live bait is in the lead. Yeah, We're going to keep at it. Fish. I mean, <laughs> I'm there still, but. We're going to keep at it and uh, we'll see, I guess, who gets the biggest one. And it's not to say that it might be a large mouth or a small mouth bass that is going to take this. I mean, there's a chance for a pike, a muskie, a walleye. You never know. So biggest fish wins. But right now, Mac Daddy's in the lead, baby. Switched her up a little bit. Still using the Ned rig, but I'm going to try throwing the old Guggen Baits crack and craw just for a bigger profile. One, because, well, I got to step up and try to get a bigger fish because now Brandon's got a 20 inch smallie. So the Ned rig was working, but I just wasn't getting the bites that I was looking for exactly. The one that broke me off, who knows what that could have been, probably was bigger than 20 maybe, but you'll have that. So stepping up to the craw and see if that makes a difference. There we go. Okay, they like the craw. How does it feel? Small. <laughs> I upsized and it feels small. Really? Yeah, swimming like with. Get it's nah. It's small mouth. Oh my god, there's like three of them. Whoa, yeah, whoa. Do you see that? Yeah. There's like three smallies following this fish. Oh my god. That's not, I mean, it's not terrible, but there were some bigger ones even following i don't know what is up with that i've never seen that before huh well, let me control my fish here show you guys just a tiny one and then we're gonna measure it because well brandon's was obviously bigger but uh this is this is the location still fishing that trunk rock we just started to make it another pass and this one hit immediately pretty much and then like i was saying there's like three swimming with it so i i don't know what that's about Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, there's the other ones that we're hitting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Found one of them, another nice fish. I don't think it's quite 20, but it's another quality fish. About the same size as your last. Maybe a little bigger. Oh, God. Jig and a leech, baby. That one engulfed the leech. Not quite as fat as the last fish, but another dandy. Wow. That's probably, I don't know, two and a half. Maybe pushing three pounds. Another nice fish. Definitely must have been one of the fish that, I mean, I casted like right behind where you casted. So those fish yeah. probably went back. Maybe they're just stacked up in here. That could be a bunch. I don't know. We're just, I mean, we got multiple docks here. And like Nick said, just a ton of rocks and stuff like that that are kind in here. What you see on the shoreline? Yeah, honestly, just like what the shoreline looks like, except sandy bottom and the rocks are just all yeah. spread out and it just drops off gradually. So it's actually, it's pretty steep. So we're going to go ahead and grab another leech. Check it out. These things are disgusting there's probably a lot of people that are like what you fish with those oh wow oh he fell in the boat 
I got nervous. I thought he went into the drink. I was gonna say, that's money. Look at that. Disgusting. Look at those little buggers. They get like super tiny and then stretch out really long and they suck your blood and they're kind of disgusting like this guy's trying to do right now, I but them, they sure do. I'm just going to go ahead and hook them on there. I like to hook them two or three times. I like to try and leave a little bit of the tail just so they can tell. You know, it, it just kind of looks like a knot right now, but as soon as it gets into the water, they love to just expand, especially when they start hitting bottom fish jump on it all right let's uh, i'm gonna toss right back over by that dock again and see if we can pull another nice small mouth all righty well as you guys can tell the sun is going down we've been fishing for a little while trying to upsize and actually go for a completely different species we've been getting into the old small mouths all day long we were hoping one of us could get into a walleye but it has not happened yet I think we're going to have to probably call it a night. We've got a long trip back ahead of us, so we're going to go ahead and start packing everything up. But we had one heck of a day out here, guys. We got into some really, really nice smallmouth. Not a ton of giants, but overall, I mean, when you pull out a 20-inch smallmouth, it's a pretty good day. <laughs> Especially when you get it on live bait and you beat Nick in this challenge, so that is the best thing. <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing this year. 2020 has just been something for like what's going on in the world. Plus like what's going on in my world, my fishing world, it's getting bad. Honestly, like I've been catching nice fish, but Brandon, I'm going to give full respect to him. He's been killing it. Like he's caught like a 42 plus inch Northern this year, nine pound walleye. What else? 20 inch smallmouth now. And then caught some other nice fish I don't know. He's caught a lot of nice fish and been blowing me out of the water that's for sure so congratulations on the win <laughs> thanks buddy i appreciate it like i said we are going to go ahead and pack everything up for the day but it's been fun out here we had a blast hopefully you guys enjoyed the challenge turns out i don't know i think still you caught more fish i did yes it, using artificial even with some off camera i, I did catch yeah. a couple fish so. yeah we didn't even film every single fish that we got into we did get into some smaller ones that you guys didn't see on camera but you're always going to have that so overall i'd have to say i guess live bait did it today not that artificial was really slack and i think he had more numbers just didn't get the big one uh Unfortunately for Nick, he did lose this challenge, and I'm going to have to take home the trophy on this one. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for us. We'd greatly appreciate it. And honestly, guys, overall, looking back at the day, you got to take both into consideration. It's not a bad idea to just bring both with you, whether you're throwing plastics or hard baits. It's not a bad idea to have minnows, crawlers, bugs. <laughs> whatever you should always have uh, leeches actually worked really really well for us today you should definitely make sure to have that in the arsenal with you when you're hitting the water so if you guys enjoy it again make sure to hit that thumbs up button for us we would greatly appreciate it if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen our videos before make sure to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell it'll let you know anytime that we post a video in the future so again we're going to pack everything up and we'll see you guys on the next one tight lines from mb edits <laughs>